Join me in Revision Surgery Suite as I walk through a few of my surgical cases. By combining advanced technology with my skills as a fellowship trained corneal specialist, I'm able to improve a patient's vision and quality of life. Helping people achieve their best vision is definitely rewarding and absolutely life changing. In this video you will see the femtosecond laser performing an LRI, which stands for Limbal Relaxing Incision. The limbus or limbal means the perimeter of the cornea and relaxing, relaxing incision means it's relaxing or flattening the cornea in its most steep axis or meridian. Uh, and what that means, steepness of the cornea results or causes astigmatism, which means that's part of your prescription that blurs your vision. So if that's unaddressed, patient's vision will be a little bit blurry after cataract surgery, even with the corrective lens in the eye. So it's a way to correct astigmatism that's not extremely high. If the astigmatism is very high, then that correction can be put in the lens. But for everybody else who doesn't meet that level of astigmatism, an LRI is a way to enhance a patient's result through these small incisions. And they can be done manually. However, you're relying on almost your best guess of the thickness of the cornea and your marking the cornea manually so there's a little bit of air there and to get a real effect of reduction of astigmatism you need to know that you're at 90 percent corneal depth or it won't be stable or the effect will wear off and you also need to know the arc length or the length of the incision down to the degree and when doing that manually you can get some effect but it's not always the total effect desired and it's not always stable over time so that's where the laser comes in as you'll see in the video, we have the degree marked out by the laser in an overlay that's purple, a purple arc, and that is the right location and the exact right arc length of the incision. And then a step further, we can then drag a yellow dot into the anterior chamber to basically tell the laser, we're gonna go down to 90% depth because that's where you're gonna get your long-term stable result and effect. Uh, for astigmatism correction with LRIs. So we know exactly where they are, the exact size, and the exact depth to give patients their best result. This is a, an LRI procedure, a procedure where it's usually coupled with cataract surgery to enhance the result. It can be done as a standalone procedure for patients with, with astigmatism. And so occasionally we're doing these incisions on patients that just need a little bit of a enhancement of their vision to take care of astigmatism, which is just a part of their prescription. We can take it away without an LRI as well. But it's the perfect complement to lens technology that is advanced and patients have high expectations of seeing without glasses or a reduced dependency on glasses and just really helps us nail the result and enhance that lens technology to perform at its best. Viewer discretion is advised. This video shows live footage from an actual surgical procedure. So after the laser has divided the lens and opened the capsule and created a circular capsular rexus, it's time to acclimate the cornea further to then perform LRI incisions. Uh, those are limbal relaxing incisions. And what they are, they're set at the steep axis of the cornea to correct the stigmatism. So the location is on axis and the length varies depending on the amount of astigmatism that the patient has. With the laser assisted LRI we can choose the exact depth which we're targeting around 90% depth of the cornea and the exact arc length is programmed in as well based on their amount of astigmatism. So we are ready to now apply the laser to those two blue lines, which is where the incisions will go. And so right now, the laser will start and you can see the incision being made, one followed by the other to correct astigmatism, which means we can correct more of your prescription and enhance your result.